All right. Looks like we are live. Take two. Steve Cypress here on Direct Mail, Monday, July 1st, 2019. We are into the second half of the year in the final year of the decade. But the first six months of the year are now officially in the books. And we are officially in the second half. So hopefully you are halfway or more than halfway to your goals for the year, whatever those may be. And uh, you are ready to put the pedal to the metal in the second half and get the job done and hopefully blow your goals away and surpass them way beyond your wildest expectations. And I'll be here, God willing, every day to help you do just that. In the meantime, you can go to helpfromsteve.com and that's where you get a link to my personal calendar and get on the phone and accelerate that growth and that help because I'll give you a little help one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, so normally on Direct Mail Monday, I share a piece of direct mail that landed in my mailbox and I teach the lessons from it. But today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to share four pieces that are not direct mail. These are simply communications through the mail. But they're from four sharp marketers, and they are they understand, and this will illustrate the point that they understand the value of the physical item being sent through the mail. So even though none of these are a, a technically a solicitation for business, although since they're sharp marketers, they're always going to to do business. But these are not what you would think of as direct mail sending out to a list to get some kind of response. These are all expected things coming. Uh, but they uh, illustrate the power of the physical item. So the first one is a newsletter. And I don't mean an e-zine, an e-online newsletter BS. When people say, oh, I, I send a newsletter, I email it out everywhere. That's not a newsletter. Call it whatever you want. I'll just call it a BS newsletter because nobody's reading that, nobody's looking at it. I don't know how many I get in my email every day, but I don't even look at them or click on them. Or, I mean, that... You know, maybe when they first came out 10 years ago, and maybe some tiny, tiny, small percentage of people are still clicking on them. So if you send out enough of them, I guess you get some response and you go, see, it works. But the physical newsletter. So here is Joe Polish, marketer extraordinaire, sending me his physical newsletter. You feel the bulk here. It's probably a 16 page newsletter. And uh, I'm not going to open it only because he's including the free recorded message which is one of the ways Joe built his carpet cleaning business and then became a guru to other carpet cleaners and first made his first millions from being a broke carpet cleaner. That's where he first learned about this effective marketing kind of stuff. And one of the things was the old recorded message line. Well, he's got that on here. Call this free recorded message line before you read this month's newsletter. And so I'm going to do that. So uh, just to see the experience, but in here, rest assured, is the Genius Network newsletter. Now, why am I getting this? I was a member of the Genius Network for two years. That's colloquially known as the 25K group because everyone's got to pony up 25 grand cash, no payments, none of that BS. So uh, I loved it because I know that everybody else is a player. They're all not making any payments of 2,000 a month. So they're, you know, broke and barely getting by and whatever. These are Hey, I got 25 grand, boom. And so you knew it was a group of high achievers in that room. And I did it for a couple of years and uh, haven't been in it for a few. But uh, I think about going back. And uh, last time I saw Joe, it was at the um, premiere, the world premiere of a documentary film about his life uh, called Connected, I believe is the name of the movie. And it premiered at the Harkins Theater right here in Scottsdale, Arizona on a, on a Friday night. And I went up there, and the film was actually uh, produced and created by another friend of mine, Nick Nanton, another brilliant marketer. Um, both of them, by the way, have been on the cover of Rhino Magazine, my monthly magazine. And uh, Nick uh, did the uh, – and he was there also, and Dean Jackson was there. All. It was just good to see some old friends and see Joe. And I was like, yeah, Joe, I do think you're coming back. So very cool that he sends me the newsletter, and I will call the message, and I'll open it up. So there's one example of a brilliant marketer, Joe Polish, who understands, don't send me an e-zine and say, oh, I sent you my online newsletter, Steve. Don't you feel special? No, I wouldn't feel special at all. But I know you're investing a couple of bucks in me, two, three bucks. Let's just say it's four bucks. That would mean 50 bucks a year, 12 months a year, 48 bucks. We'll round it off to 50 bucks a year. And let's just say it took me four years 
of reading that and feeling special when I see it come in the mail and I know there you're investing actual money into me again, not just sending a, you know, blast of emails that you don't think about and don't cost you anything. And you're actually thinking, how little can I invest into these people? Because I really don't give a crap about them. That's the message you're sending when you send out an easy newsletter and not the physical one. Now, if you do both, that's fine. But if you do just the easy, you're, uh, you're making a big mistake. And, uh, and so let's just say, what are, whatever I just said, four years, 50 bucks a year is 200 bucks. And then I say, you know what? I am going to rejoin that thing. Bang, here comes 25 grand into his pocket. And maybe like last time I stayed for two years, so there's 50 grand. I mean, even if it was just one year, was that worth the 200 bucks, the 50 bucks a year? So do the math, figure out what a customer client patient member is worth to you and invest a little bit into them and send them the physical newsletter for crying out loud. So I'll put that aside and I will check it out later. Second piece is another sharp marketer, nowhere near as sharp as Joe Polish, but sharp marketer nonetheless, Partiv Shaw. I first met him when he had uh, taken over Ben Glass's Dan Kennedy, Bill Glazer, uh, GKIC chapter, and I ran the Chicago chapter. And a uh, year after I met Partiv and he started, uh, mine was going to become the largest chapter, and still to this day was always the largest chapter in the history of the thing, and Partiv was brand new. And everywhere Partiv goes, everyone makes fun of him because he looks funny and he talks funny. He's like three foot 11 and he's from India. And so he, he sounds funny. He looks funny. He's a, he's the nicest guy in the world. So he lets people walk all over him and he doesn't, you know, blast back at him. So everyone does make fun of him and pick on him. And so I kind of took him under my wing. Like I watched my mom doing all when I was growing up and she was taking out, um, immigrant kids under her wing as a teacher of English as a second language every few years whatever war-torn area of the world the parents are doing everything they could to send their kids out of the war-torn country into America uh, and then they get here and they don't speak a word of English and didn't have any money if very little if any at all and my mom would take them under her wing and they would live with us and she would tutor them and she'd give them some money for babysitting or paint the garage or uh, you know lance and mow the lawn anything she could do uh, and so, and she, she always told me stories, by the way, that I was doing that same thing, even as a kid, that when they, I was captain of the team as we're playing after school and we're choosing up sides and she goes, she said, I would always pick the picked on guy, uh, kid so that he wouldn't not get picked or he wouldn't get picked last. You know, I would pick him earlier than the last pick and take him under my wing and show that I cared about him. That's, that's just what I did. And so I did that with Partiv and uh, took him under my wing and kind of shielded him from all the, not all, but a lot of the abuse that was going on. And I kind of helped him out and helped him to uh, hopefully uh, be a success with that. Later on, he became a client uh, just for one year, but he's been a long-term private client of Dan Kennedy, who is an expert in this uh, world of direct response marketing. And uh, he loves just giving Dan, you know, 20 grand to pop. Like, once or twice a year or something. <laughs> he just loves doing it. And so um, Partif said he would send me a copy of the latest book that he co-authored, I think. And so uh, this must be it. So let's check it out. Telltale sign is it's US, USPS Media Mail. It used to be called Book Rate, now called Media Mail. And you send books through the mail. And he did say he sent me the copy. Oh, he sent me two copies. Way to go, Partif. Thank you very much. And so one is for Steve, and I'm guessing the other one is for Steve Sprint. Very nice. So very smart of him. So probably when he tells people, I'll send you a copy of the book, he does that with everybody. And, uh, oh, yeah, of course. It's, uh, oh, I got it right. It's Dan Kennedy's newest book, Magnetic Marketing, and Partiv did the forward. See that? You, you give Dan like 120 or 150 grand or something, he lets you write the forward. To his book and maybe charge him some money for that too but anyway very cool i did not have it and he could have again same as joe polish's newsletter where joe could have sent an e-zine you know partip could have sent me the e-book version like how stop being ridiculous if you're doing that like the everyone again when i say everyone like the overwhelming percentage of 99 percent of people have you know tons of e-books on their desktop or on their hard drive or wherever that they never looked at, will never look at, they might have glanced at, but you know, physical books, well, people don't throw these out and they don't forget about them. 
and, and he's very smart that I'll give one to a client. And so now I'll have a second person influenced by him. And, uh, and it's just a sign of goodwill. And then I see his name on there every time I look at the book and I'll think about him. So very smart, again, for the cost of a few bucks, three, four bucks. So two bucks, maybe six or eight bucks, and the shipping is another dollar something. So, you know, for like nine dollars, he shows me that, like, he cares instead of just sending me an ebook, which would show me he doesn't give a crap. So very smart by party. Thank you. Way to go. Next one, another sharp marketer a friend of mine, Rob Onspot told me he was sending me a copy of one of his latest books. He, 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 do, he picks experts and he kind of does a book with slash for them. I think he's done about a dozen of them. And he was, I put a comment on one of his posts in one of his Facebook groups or something and he was sent me a message like, do you have a copy of such and such books? Because he sent me a few of them so far. And, uh, the ones that he's done himself, he sent me. And, of course, he also sent me one or two that he's co-authored. But, uh, no, I didn't have his latest one. And here it is. I'm guessing it's his latest one. Rob on Spock. Rob versus the scammers. Love it. He does, Now I understand because he does post a lot about how uh, he got a telemarketing call or a scam email or whatever. And, and maybe I guess he put them all together and put them into a book. Protecting the world against fraud, nuisance calls, and downright phony scams. Gotta love it. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. Thank you, Rob. So we will be checking that out. And, dude, what is up with not sending me a pre-publication copy so I could send you a blurb? Because I am well known to be a phenomenal blurb writer. When I feel that the book or the product or the course or the event or whatever is worthy. You know, I don't just pull it out of my butt or make up some crap. I don't, I'm not known as straight talk Steve for no reason, but if I like it and knowing Rob and, and just the, the whole concept so far, I mean, I'll just love this thing and I, man, I'll write you a great blurb. So maybe in a future version, you put it on there. And then in future versions, dude, get me your book before you publish it. So I can give you a blurb on there. All right, and finally, the fourth and final piece I'll share today is from another super sharp marketer. I mentioned his name before, Bill Glazer. So he was Dan Kennedy's partner. So I got two copies of Dan Kennedy's book from Parkeep Shaw. And uh, Bill Glazer, who I am going to be a contributor, co-author of his next book about to come out, about outrageous campaigns that are outrageously successful, something like that. Uh, I was uh, on the online version of it. I did a whole uh, week-long telesummit type of thing where he, you know, interviewed everybody and sent them all kinds of stuff and examples and whatever. And they are doing a print book also. So but this is not a book. I could tell the uh, package was too soft to be a book. But check it out. It's a letter and a T-shirt. How cool is that? So the letter is, thank you for participating in the Outrageous Campaigns Virtual Summit. How cool is that? From the desk of Bill Glazer. And we were able to beat our goal for what we wanted to contribute to the charity from the summit. So what happened is everyone was able to um, get a link, an affiliate link, it's known as. If you're in the, in the online world, it means you get a commission uh, based on every sale that's made through the link. The link is tracked to you specifically. So each one of the contributors, we all got our own link, and then we could send people with emails or social media or however you want to do it, send people to this link to participate in the summit, and if they purchased the recordings or the book or whatever it was, we would get a percentage of the share, and I was like, Bill, the, the proceeds are going to charity. Like, I don't want any commission or whatever from my link, give it all to the charity. He was like, yeah, you're not the only one that said that, so thank you very much. And then I realized I'm not even going to send out this convoluted, ridiculous affiliate link, which is like, you know, outrageous campaign summit slash one, two dot Steve slash, well, screw that. I just sent people right to the main link, so I don't know how many people went, but hopefully some of them went and some of them were smart enough to get the recordings and the book and the whatever. And so hopefully I helped to beat the goal for what you wanted to contribute to the charity for the summit. 
and that is going to help Veterans Affairs Foundation of Pittsburgh to build a facility to patients who suffer from a stroke, like Bill suffered from a stroke, that's why I picked this charity, and stay in uh, during their speech therapy, so they can stay in this facility during their treatments, and it does feel good knowing that I promoted my business, and I helped out the charity, and I helped, I just helped out Bill, and, and in Bill's book, and it's very cool, and it's from Bill and his daughter Mara, and Rob Cuesta, who are partnering with Bill to do all the behind-the-scenes stuff, and Mara, who's just a fantastic person, and also a brilliant marketer herself, and then the t-shirt, which I had never seen, so let's check it out together. Actually, you're seeing it first, because I'm behind it, and let's see what it is. It is, I don't look at it. Outrageous Marketers Alliance, very cool. I think this is the group. I'll throw in a little plug here for Bill for sending me his shirt. I think this is the group that Bill is uh, putting people into, people can join, who were on the summit. You know, so thousands of people likely went and watched 30 or 40 or 50 of us do our presentations throughout the week or had the opportunity to watch as many of us as they wanted for free. And then uh afterwards he said you know i'm going to accept 100 or 150 people or so that i'll work with and do monthly group calls and send you some stuff and whatever and i think that's what this is because i of course get all those emails the outrageous marketers alliance and so very cool that even though i'm not a member of it i get a shirt just for helping promote the thing and this is a again it goes in line with what i'm talking about physical as opposed to and this is the last lesson i'll teach today and it's an important one is the quality. So the book is a higher quality than an ebook. Rob didn't just say, here's my ebook, which would say, hey, Steve, I don't give a crap about you. He said, dude, I'm going to send you a book that costs me money to print and to ship. So reciprocity kicks, kicks in. One of Robert Cialdini's uh, laws uh, of uh, influence, the law of reciprocity, I feel he gave me something of value and he cared about me, and I will read the book. And I will, uh, you know, nowadays you can't really go to Amazon and post a review when you get the off-copy book. You can, but it'll say on their unverified purchase, making it sound like you made it up or you, it's a spam fake thing that someone paid for. So actually, so maybe I will buy, I, I often do this, I'll buy the ebook, then I'll post my review. So I'll buy the ebook for 10 bucks or something and uh, post the review and uh, that way it'll say verified. And uh, besides, come on, Rob, send me your next book pre-publication. Like I know you, I think you've done in the past. Lots of people do all the time, so I'll, I'll give you a blood report. But you see the quality of the physical stuff I'm receiving in the mail, and this T-shirt is a quality T-shirt. I can feel it. This is not some cheap, thin, you know, wash it once and it frazzles, or phrase, or whatever. This is a heavy cotton Whatever company this is, the old Dan, anyone that knows about this stuff would know that this is a quality shirt here. So thank you, Bill. And man, this looks kind of big, but then again, I think I'm bigger than I think I'd like to be. So it is a large, it's pretty much my size. And since it's cotton, heavy cotton, maybe it shrinks a little bit, but thank you, Bill. So I got a t-shirt. And a letter from Bill Glazer in color, by the way. You see all the colors used. Those are like the colors he uses on the cover of the book for all the different letters. I got three different books, three, three, two different books, three copies of books from two different people. And I got the physical paper newsletter from Joe Polish, from Partiv Shaw, from Rob Onspach, from Bill Glazer. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for being a part being really the bulk of my direct mail monday video for today that'll do it for today thanks to you four for setting a great example for my viewers my listeners wherever you're watching or listening to this on the power hopefully you can feel the power of sending a t-shirt not just sending a text message saying thanks or an email sending the book not the ebook sending the newsletter not an easy make sense Hopefully you do that in your business as well and you reap the rewards. So that'll do it for the first Direct Mail Monday of the second half of 2019. I'll be back tomorrow. I gotta thank everybody first. I don't see any questions or comments, but 
lately Facebook hasn't been showing me even who's been on, but I do see some likes going by. So thank you for the likes, comments, shares, all that kind of engagement. As always, you got to come to my business page now, facebook.com slash smallbizhelp, B-I-Z. If you want to come on live while I'm recording and you can ask any questions you want. If you want help with anything I discussed or anything else uh, involved with us, effective small business sales, marketing, and advertising, you go, as always, to helpfromsteve.com. We get on the phone one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll help you out there. And uh, that'll do it for Direct Mail Monday. Thanks, everyone, being here. Watch it on the replay. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. I'm actually going to share another piece of mail that I just received, and it's uh, extremely topical. We're going to have some fun with it tomorrow. Hope you'll be here then. I'm going to click this twice, and I will say over and out. Bye-bye.